Hey everyone, welcome. Jane Cormack here from Rhythm in Colour, cultivating courage in women to shine through creativity. And welcome to my weekly rhythmic inspiration. Today I am lounging in the sun in this beautiful workshop space after a creative detox session with a client. So I just wanted to film this uh, rhythmic inspiration news today because of something that emerged in this session that I think is really important to share with you. Uh, and that is to keep things simple. Really simple. <laughs> to keep things simple. And what I mean by that is that many of us on the journey of personal development or on a spiritual journey, which most of us are on, tend to go into analyzing and over-processing situations and thinking too much from our mind space about what's going on. And it can be difficult to release uh, and create clarity from that place. So what the creative detox is about is getting to a point of clarity and then when we're in that point of clarity, transformation can happen in that space. But first we need to let go and detox all the things that are not serving us anymore. So in today's session, um, what emerged through the practices that we did, and we used a heart circle, we used breath, we used body movement, we tuned into the physical body, we worked with music, and color and painting and voice and toning. So all these tools are fantastic for releasing and expressing, but it's important to keep things simple as well. And that means not analyzing the end result, not going into process too much or thinking, what does this mean? What's this about? Spontaneous expression and creative detox is about being present and about being in the moment and getting out of the mind space into the heart space and expressing spontaneously whatever wants to emerge and allowing it to come out in that moment. And when it's out in whatever form that it does emerge, which could be through voice, sound making, through color, through painting and artwork, through uh, movement and dance, to not judge the end result. To just let that go and accept whatever it is that has emerged in that moment. Now this is so important if you want to become more present and become more clear and to release what's going on inside of you in a, in a healthy and creative way. Um, and just allow it to be, to keep it simple and see if you can just walk away from the end result when you're done. So that's my inspiration and my little challenge for you this week is to do some spontaneous expression and that could be with the artwork, with the paints, with the paper, with the writing, with poetry. And just begin. Be in the moment. And just begin and see what comes out. And keep it simple. And then when you're done, just walk away from it. Just leave it or give it to someone or throw it away. See if you have any attachment to the end result and enjoy the process because this is about really enjoying being in the moment having joy being in the moment and expressing in the moment and it doesn't really matter what you produce at the end of it you've just got to in try and enjoy the journey so i would love to hear how that goes for you so do leave a comment on my website or on my youtube channel and I'll just, before I go today, just show you a little bit of the artwork we created. But until next time, keep creating. And I'll see you next week. Okay, bye for now. Okay, here's my client's piece of art, which is a huge 
long piece of paper with all her feet movement, her body movement, her hand movement, the colors that she felt drawn to choose. In the moment, inspired by music, we've got powder paint and acrylic paint on there. And it's really beautiful what patterns and watermarks and shapes can emerge spontaneously when we just allow it to come out. And there's some lovely greens up here. And we just zoom out. We see a rainbow of colors and patterns, marks, expressions. So this is her color map. And a color map is a, a map of your emotions, your feelings, whatever is going on for you that's expressed in color in that moment. So it's a map of the present moment. And my one is here when I use a lot of powder paint and I use my fingers and my feet and created these kind of primal looking spirals that look slightly like shells. There's a lot of nature marks in there as well. So I hope that's inspired you to start creating and to enjoy the moment and enjoy being spontaneous and to be gentle with yourself and not judge yourself and to express spontaneously. So, until next time, keep creating, and I'll see you soon.